Hello YouTube, this is Lepervic123, welcome back to my Pokemon Yellow, gotta catch them all walkthrough. In the last episode we made it here to Viridian Forest, and also at the end of the part we did our first sequence of... Catching a Pokemon on another game. Yep, Weedle is now over here on yellow version. Uh, does it show ID? Yep, you see there at the bottom? Two red. Uh, when it comes to like cheating that, you can't actually change that. If you can, I don't know how. <laughs> but yeah, I've leveled up Pokemon, and yes, in the last episode we caught Nidoran, which is part of the team. I actually forgot about that, but I did remember in the end, uh, the, the sides. So in this part, we're going to be evolving these two and continuing on, and hopefully even challenging Brock. But if we want to get to that, we better get a move on. Right, a potion. Strange, I'm going to swan that was an antidote. Whatever. Hey, trainer, that's only ever in Pokemon Yellow in this exact spot and not in Red or Blue. I'm going to beat. I'm going to be the best. You just can't beat me. I'm going to be the very best. I'm sorry. Ugh. But Catcher wants to fight, says out Caterpie. <coughs> this trainer is actually quite unique compared to any of the others, because he's actually got strong versions of Caterpie and Metapod. I want uh, both Caterpie and Weedle to be in this uh, fight with this Caterpie, because they're both just one level, one battle each away from evolving. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing off screen is. Uh, Leveling up my Pokemon to a decent level, and when they're those that are almost ready to evolve by, by one level, I will get them close to that level. Then, next part, we shall finish that level off and get them that XP to evolve. Wait, what? Well, we'll get the XP and evolve. Bam, bam. Tackle! And you're dead. Critical hit, overkill. We don't get the extra boost because it's traded Pokemon. There's even more proof that it's a traded. And Caterpie also got off seven. We're gonna have our first double evolution. <coughs> and now that these two are done, let's send out Nidoran. What? Use Horn Attack. God damn it, I went way too high on that one. Hope you guys don't mind me the way how I'm doing my training thing. I just think it'd be a lot easier because in this game, it's a lot slower than in other games than it is to actually level up, in my opinion. And plus, you cannot re-battle trainers, and the battles themselves are a tad slow because, well, it was one of the first Pokemon games ever made. Determines of the RPG, um, adventure of the actual like main Pokemon game series. So you can't be really all too surprised about that. Level nine Yeah. So yeah, I hope you don't mind me doing the way the training the way I'm doing. <coughs> and we'll get on to Weedle's evolution. <coughs> First evolution of the game. And here comes the second one. Alrighty then, that ups our deck to 12 Pokemon seen to 11 own. That one Pokemon we're now missing from that Pokedex, if we quickly scoot along, is an Eevee. So yeah, if you're playing this the same way I am, you should be pretty much almost 100% on your Pokedex. Yeah. Completely forgot I still got Kakuna in the lead. Let's switch Pikachu to the lead now. How are you feeling about me anyway, Pikachu? Of course you're feeling happier because I spent a bit more time with you off screen. My apologies about that. Okay. Yes, we will be skipping like any unnecessary wild battles. Like this one. And the one thing I can now mention is that uh, somebody has picked a nickname for Pikachu. A Pig Latin nickname. I've never heard of Pig Latin before. I don't even remember the name of what he chose for Pikachu, but I have it in the comments, so I'll remember it when I can actually change his name, but... Kinda weird. Yes, this battle's staying in because I was busy still talking, so blah. By the way, stand right here, click A. You found a secret potion! 
Battle time! Hey, wait! Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? Goddamn. Sometimes I just cannot talk! But catcher sends a caterpillar holds in. Sony Pokemon Thunder Wave! Pikachu at Thunder Wave and level 8. Blue. <coughs> and I do actually have. Since I want to face off against the gym leader in this episode, since we're just about to exit the forest after this battle, and we're only at 6 minutes, we might as well do the gym this part. I actually did. I trained up all my Pokemon in the PC to level 8. The only exceptions were Weedle and Caterpie, due to the fact that they evolved at level 7. Plus, they both evolved at level 9, at uh, 10. So, yeah. Next episode, they'll be evolving again! <laughs> Sorry to say. Eh. <sighs> wow, Pokemon. And we are three. We're free like a Butterfree! Sorry, we still don't have that Pokemon yet. We'll soon. Next episode. Du, du, du. And now we are at Trainer's Tips. Okay, we're at Trainer's Tips. <laughs> no, this is Pewter City. Now we're gonna have a quick heal up. Da 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 da. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy, and hello! Okie dokie! Uh, Pikachu? He's asleep. Pikachu, wake up! Pikachu! God damn it. <laughs> Apparently that affected Pikachu, but not me. Okay, though, let's get the Pokemon. Well, let's... Uh, do a quick thing here. I'm gonna quickly deposit Kakuna and Metapod because they're no longer needed with us at the moment. Withdraw. As you can see, all Pokemon are level eight. We got Mankey here at level nine because we are actually are going to use him temporarily for this gym because. Brock is a rock type gym leader and all of our Pokemon don't possess any moves that can really hurt them that easily. Uh, I'll do the put the Mart off screen. You don't really need to see me buy and stuff. Yeah, so we needed a little extra kick. Mary says there should be a hidden item here, or is that just leaf green and fire red only? I think that might be a leaf green and fire red thing only. I gotta check up I gotta check in on that. But yeah, let's go into the gym. What's up, my free man? Hiya! I can tell what you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you. Let me take you to the top. Okay. All right. Let's get to happening. It will be tough for your Pikachu at this gym. Electric attacks are harmless to Brock's ground-type Pokemon. That's true. Very true. Stop right there! Kid, you're still- Wait, what? Uh, you're still light years from facing Brock. Light years? Wow. <coughs> and this is one cocky trainer known as Junior Trainer Male. Wants to fight. The first example of a ground type Pokemon so far. Diglett. Right attack! Tail whip! Ouch. And Diglett's actually kind of a strong Pokemon, so you might have a bit of trouble with this. That's why I did Tail Whip first, and now I'm gonna quick attack it to death. But with that amount of damage, that wasn't even a crit, something tells me I wasted a little bit of Riot House HP. Damn it! And the next one is Saiyan True. He's a highly defensive Pokemon, but we'll stick in for the moment. Uh, I do want Riot House to get some XP for this battle. Damn, hardly did a thing. Ooh, close. Need a ran. Sandshrew is once again another ground type Pokemon. <laughs> but it's not a rock type. That's one thing that I think some people get confused on. Normal type moves are normal against ground types, but are not very effective against rock types. 
so you're free to use your normal moves against ground type Pokemon like Sandshrew. Too bad this Sandshrew is gonna about to kick my ass. <laughs> Mankey, help! Yeah, Sandshrew is quite the powerhouse. Honestly, in this game, I reckon he's kind of an, o an OP Pokemon. Especially his slash attack when he becomes a Sand Slash. Ooh, he's a killer. Right attack with the level 9. Okay, I need to quickly take a quick trip to the Pokemon Center. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and now I'm gonna switch Mankey to the lead. Because, well, Brock is gonna be tough. What's up? I'm Brock, the Pewtus, the Pewtus Gym Leader. The Pewtus Gym Leader. Well, there! I believe in the rock hard defense determination. That is why all my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. Our first gym leader, Brock. The guy who never opens his eyes. Brock wants to fight. Cheer dude! Level 10. Go Mankey! Mankey! Low kick! Oh, the hit! Must have hit a bit too low if you get my bit in. Wah. And you dudes down. Yeah, if you got Pokemon on your actual team that are kinda bad against Brock, I suggest you go back. If you haven't already captured a Mankey, I recommend you go back to the pre. Uh, Route 22 and catch a Mankey and level it up to at least level 9 or 10. That should ink. Oh crap, Mankey's about to die. Uh, no, oh, I don't want to kill Pikachu. I'm sorry, Radita. I can't afford to lose Mankey. Okay, you still live. Tail Whip! Oh no, not the famous Bite Attack! Bide is infamous in these old games. And the dog's barking. You gotta try and put up with the dogs for a second, because I can't stop them. But the Bide attack is infamous in the first generation game. It cannot be stopped. It will con if Brock is faster, if the Pokemon who's using Bide is faster than you and they just keep on using it, it's just a matter of time till you are beaten. I'm sorry, Bide was that overpowered. Unless it missed, or he ran out of PP, whew, you're screwed. That's all there is to it, and I... Oh, Mankey! It's still not gonna survive. Scratch it! Scratch it! Why am I missing? Low kick! Boom. Oh my god. Yay! I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Boulder badge, and the first slide on my badge side. Woohoo! <coughs> I can use Flash. I got $1,188. Woohoo! Pokey dollars. I got TM34. TM contains a technique that can't be taught to Pokemon. That can be taught. TM is only good once, so once you teach it, this new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. The Pokemon will absorb the damage in battle and pay it back double. Double trouble! <laughs> so yeah, that's the gym, and we're getting along our time. Okay then, so that'll do it for so far. So far we've seen 16 Pokemon. Wow, we just stopped our Pokedex by 5. Uh, no, 4, 4. And, uh... I hope you guys have enjoyed. In the next part, I will once again level up uh, my other Pokemon. So, to like level 10, Metapod and Kakuna will be level 9, ready to evolve again. And in, once that's all done, we'll be continuing on with this game. Hope you've all enjoyed this part, and I'll see you all next time. Pikachu, how do you feel? Ah, you feel about the same. See ya! <laughs>